Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be answering the question, help, I've never worn a suit in my entire life. <laughs> okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this and you find it useful, I'd appreciate it if you would like it down below. And last but not least, especially for this video, I'm going to link you to quite a few articles, a lot of them talking about all the details that go into wearing a suit so that you can invest in yourself, so that you can invest in your own education because it's going to go a lot more than just a couple minutes. I'm going to talk quickly here about suits. It's something that you need to invest a bit of time over, and I'm not talking about getting a college degree here. I am actually talking though just about spending a few hours exploring and learning about menswear because the more you learn, the better prepared you're going to be and the less money you're going to spend because you're going to make less mistakes and you're going to get clothing that you're going to wear a lot more than if you buy something you just don't like. Okay, this is the question that came in. Hello Antonio, I've never worn a suit in my entire life and I'm 29 years old. I just got an office job where I'm expected to wear a suit and tie every single day. I'm 79 centimeters tall and I weigh 69 kilos. I'm really worried about wearing a suit. Do you have any tips? And I'm not going to mention the gentleman's name, but he is in a situation which, you know, actually there's quite a few men who find themselves, they get out of maybe they get a graduate degree and they're already approaching 30 and they have never worn a suit. And all of a sudden they get a job in which they're in, they're in a bank, they're working for a law firm as a researcher, or they, they've got some type of job that is requiring them to dress in a suit and tie. And so normally you're going to hear me say fit, fabric, and style. And that's still important. But for a man just starting off, there are four other things I'm going to focus on. And those four other things are going to be number one, he needs to first invest in himself. I talked about that a little bit at the beginning, but that's you taking the time to learn more about men's clothing and getting it so that you actually enjoy and you can go out there and shop with confidence. Number two is going to be seeking help. And this means finding a mentor or working with a salesman that you trust who can make your life easier. And again, the trust factor there is huge. Number three is that you want to spend little at the beginning. So, so really watch how much money you spend. You don't want to buy a $2,000 or $3,000 custom suit as your first suit. Although you may luck out and get something perfect, chances are you're going to be making, which I'm talking about number four, is get out there and make mistakes which sounds kind of funny, but really it's about getting out there and taking action. So let me go back to point number one. Point number one is you need to invest in yourself. So I said fit fabric and style, and you're probably wondering, what do I mean there? Well, for anyone that's followed some of my videos, they start to understand what I mean by fit fabric and style. And so for you, it's going to be spending a few hours going through and reading articles and learning about men's style, building a foundation. Once you've got that foundation, which really will only take, you know, maybe five to ten articles, then you can go into the forums and you can learn a bit more there. Come back to the articles to have some questions answered and start paying attention to this. And like with anything, once you start learning about it, you're going to find that it's more interesting simply because you understand it. I mean, cooking for me. I, I would have to admit that Japanese food and sushi wasn't that interesting to me for a long time. I grew up in West Texas. And there were, I didn't even know there was, you know, it was even a, I don't even know if there's a Japanese restaurant in West Texas. But when it came down to it, uh, my wife and I, we both got interested in sushi. And we learned that actually it's not too difficult. The more we learn about it, the more we love it. And we started making it here at the house. And now it's amazing. We have people over and they're always amazed that, you know, in the middle of Wisconsin, rural Wisconsin, we're making sushi. And uh, it's something that we enjoy, that we love. It, it's, you know, but I wouldn't have this love if I hadn't taken the time to invest and learn about it and understand really what it is and the heritage and everything that goes into th this beautiful, you know, artwork slash food, whatever you want to call it. And I'm saying the same for you. You've got to dive into this. You've got to learn about it. And until you do that, you're going to run into a lot of problems and you're not going to enjoy wearing that suit that you have to wear every day. And there are many men that do go through life and they don't enjoy wearing the suits. And that's really too bad because it's 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 a small thing that you can use to show, you know, I, I've used the... Uh, shine on a diamond. I mean, you are that diamond and you want people to be able to see what you are inside and how, you know, when light enters that you reflect it off. And you're not going to be able to get that shine unless you understand how this is all put together and really how simple it is and how much you can enjoy it. So that's investing in yourself. Again, 
going to online sources. I'll link you to down there. I've also recommended a number of books. That's a great place to start. I've got an upcoming course called The Style System, which is going to be a great place to start. So, invest in yourself. Number two, and I spent a lot of time on that one, but it's important. So, number two is find somebody you trust. Work with a salesman, work with a mentor. I mean, if you're going to be thrifting, you want to perhaps find somebody who's already thrifting. There's a, a friend of mine, a Will, over at the Houndstooth Kid. This guy in the Midwest focuses on thrifting, and there's a number of other blogs out there that talk about this. But you can probably find somebody local who maybe dresses well, maybe even in your office, and he does a lot of thrifting and is someone that could kind of tell you where to go. If you can't find something like that and if you have a little bit more money to spend or you have less time, this is where you want to probably work with a salesman. And now that you've already invested in yourself, you know what questions to ask him and you can tell a good salesman from a bad salesman. And a salesman is not a bad word. This is somebody, true salesmen, they help fix problems. And your problem is you need clothing and you want to look great. So, a good salesman is going to help you solve that problem. And once you find this guy, you work with him. I mean, of course, you're going to be, you know, paying him money. That's the way things work. But what he's going to do is really help you save time and reap the rewards of looking great. All right, number three is you want to spend less. So, don't go to the most expensive store, even though most likely they're going to have some of the best salesmen, most knowledgeable ones. You want to start off slow. Because you don't want to, and this leads to number four. So quickly, you want to spend a, spend less money in the beginning, although you can ratchet that, that up quickly. Uh, because number four, you want to get out there and make mistakes. And it, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to buy a suit, you're going to buy some shirts, you're going to buy a tie in which it just doesn't go with anything. You're going to look back on this in a year and think, you know, what was I thinking? I've got a number of suits in my wardrobe as a custom clothier that I don't wear simply because when I first started off and had these suits designed and built them, I thought I knew what I was doing. But looking back, it's like it really, it's a perfectly good suit, but I don't necessarily, you know, it isn't my personal style and I've moved past that. And you've got to realize that, okay, you're going to make those mistakes. But because you paid attention to point number three, which is you spent less at the beginning, it's okay when you make a $100 or a $200 mistake versus a $1,000 or $2,000 mistake. And this is why you should also work with a uh, with a company that has a great return policy or is willing to, you know, if they design something for you, back it up and be willing to offer a, a money back guarantee. All right. So that, you know, once you've invested in yourself, which is the number one thing, then you go out and you find someone that you trust and you can work with. Number two, number three, focus on spending as little bit of money as possible. And number four, once you are ready to make, you've made your mistakes, which you make in part four, then you can ratchet all this up. All right. This has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.